understanding quantum computing can be a little difficult but it's much more easier and much more fun if you try to understand it visually and that's what we are going to do here in this series and we will do this using this particular tool so the obvious question is how do you get this so there are two answers to that The first way of getting this tool is uh, following this 4-hour uh, video that uh, helps you to build this uh, little uh, GUI app from scratch using tkinter and IBM QSKIT. So the video covers everything from installations to basic programming of Python, the basic concepts of Python, as well as basic concepts of quantum computing. So irrespective of your background, you can follow this video and develop uh, one amazing quantum computing project. And uh, the other way to get this tool is by following the GitHub link in the description and downloading the files. And if you get stuck somewhere, maybe some problems with installation, you can definitely refer the video. However, I would recommend you to follow the video and uh, understand uh, how this uh, app is actually developed. So it will help you to progress further on your own projects uh, related to quantum computing. And uh, you will also understand a lot about quantum computing in general and programming. So we will be having one video every week added to this particular playlist. So quantum computing involves a lot of things and we will go step by step every week understanding quantum computing visually. And apart from this playlist, the other content that you can expect on this channel is about quantum machine learning and uh, other topics like reinforcement learning etc and if you don't want to miss out this type of content you should consider subscribing so we are in touch and every time a top video on any of these topics drops you will be automatically notified so with that said I will leave you here with the demo of quantum superposition using this tool so you understand how we are going to utilize this tool in our visual understanding of quantum computing and uh, thanks a lot. I will see you next time.